A month into their trip to Nepal, Jeremy takes his first steps towards his last chance to ride the most epic peak of a long and storied career. With cameraman Chris Figginshaw at his side, Jeremy sets out once again for Shangri-La. Jeremy and I left camp at 3.30 in the morning and Luca had had some stomach problems and was feeling super depleted and tired and I made the decision and I'm sure it was a hard one to stay at camp. He just was, he just wasn't feeling it. But even Jeremy and Chris are feeling weakened, deteriorated from days of climbing at high elevation. I knew that like each time I got onto that face was gonna take so much energy, so I, I knew that I, at best I'd have two or three shots of that face. Midway through his third and last chance to ride Shangri-La, Jeremy Jones is unyielding in his need to complete this final challenge. Painful, doing hard climbing moves at altitude hurts. <coughs> Just still feeling it. Working his way up the established track, this will be Jeremy's last chance to ride Shangri-La. It was really happening now. This whole trip, you know, sort of culminating and uh, all right, here we go. Nearing the summit, Jeremy and Chris notice that the snow has changed and the powdery spines have firmed. If the line is too icy, it could be unsafe for Jeremy to ride. I don't like that. Hard snow. With concern for the snow conditions, they continue to the top. Standing on the summit for the second time, Jeremy's excitement to ride the last line of his six-year journey is unequaled. It was amazing. I remember strapping in and like looking across at Mount Everest and Lhotse and Burunse and, and really on the roof of the world, what they call the throne room of the mountain gods. And uh, just to be surrounded by these monsters was just surreal. With conditions drastically changed from soft sugary spines with the dangers of avalanches to firm icy snow with the perils of losing traction and sliding from the face, Jeremy will start his descent on rope for safety. We're gonna build an anchor. I'm gonna um, go over this top roll on a belay and then um, we'll go from there. Yeah, 10 four, it just looks gorgeous up there, so um, have a great one. With an anchor built and roped in, Jeremy Jones is ready to ride the most serious line of his life. Have a good run, man. Yeah, you yeah. too. Woo! Give me a teeny bit of slack. I'm going to do a turn. Yep. One, two, three. Navigating the steepest section attached to Chris will allow him to get a feel for the snow before he goes off belay and relies only on his riding skills to make it down alive. I'm gonna keep on the rope, dude, and making turns. It's, it's I'm doing all I can to hold on. Clinging to his toe edge with the uh, ice axe in his hand, um, no question in my mind I was walking down the ridge. Guess I'm walking down. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't recommend this. <laughs> you got about 20 more feet. The rope just kept going out. He wasn't unclipping. I think we had a 40 meter rope and he took it to the end of the rope. How much more rope? Yeah, that's probably your last turn. Okay. Oh. All right, Jeremy, be careful. He unclipped from the rope and went for it, you know? I mean, he come all that way, I guess, and he's gonna ride it. Off the rope with nothing but a snowboard and an ice ax, Jeremy will put it all on the line for the line of his life. The snow changed, 
the face was a little bit more serious than I realized, but I knew I could get down the line safely, and I just really slowed everything down and focused on inch by inch of, of getting myself down this mountain. You guys got a copy? Go ahead, Jeff. It firmed up, and it can't, it can't really hold an edge on this. Literally on the edge, one wrong move will spell disaster for Jeremy Jones. And 15 minutes into his run, barely down the face, he'll be exposed for much longer than he ever anticipated. <laughs> 